Well, we are up in the main lobby of the Village Hall with Will Rockwell, who is the GIS coordinator here, and you have come up with something totally cool for the Village. <laughs> well, I, I hope it's uh, useful for the Village. What we've created is a QR smart board, and you'll notice that what you see here is uh, icons of various restaurants in town, and beneath them, there's this uh, square, what's called a QR code, and QR stands for Quick Response Code, and this is a very uh, quick and easy way for people with a smartphone uh, in town uh, to find their way to our restaurants. Oh, nice. So this is a service you guys just did uh, as a service of the village for all the restaurants in town. Yeah, that's right. You know, we had um, some ideas where obviously at the VHAC we have a lot of people coming in from out of town who don't really know where to go to grab a bite to eat in between games. We have a lot of uh, visitors. So mm -hmm. we're going to try to put this out here in several locations at the VHAC so out of town people can go grab a bite to eat in town. And, and keep the money in town. That's always good. Now right here, you said this when we talked before the camera started rolling, you said this is a prototype board. On the actual board, how many restaurants are there? Yeah, on the actual full production board, there will be 55 restaurants, all Vernon Hills restaurants, where people can go and uh, if you want to go to a chain, you can go to a chain. If you want to go to a nice eth ethnic place in town, you can certainly go there as well. And so when I when you do click on that, what are you going to see? Can you show us? Can you show how a, how a phone picks that up sure. and what you might see? You know, if you have a smartphone mm -hmm. or even a iPod Touch or something like mm -hmm. that, there are free barcode scanning apps mm -hmm. that you can download. And all you have to do is simply hold your phone up to mm -hmm. the board, and the barcode scanner app mm -hmm. reads it. And it, once you simply tap on it, it'll immediately take you to a Google Place page. And this Google Place page oh. gives you the phone number, the address, uh, reviews from things like Urban Spoon and Yelp.com. And you can also get directions and see the location on a map. Okay, so, so everything that you would need to know that when we're standing at the VHEC trying to show our guests where they can eat, it's all going to be on that little square. Yeah, it's a great way to put a tremendous amount of information into a very small space. Mm -hmm. And that way we can get all the restaurants in town mm -hmm. neatly on one board mm -hmm. so people can make their choice of where they want to go. This is really cool. By the way, I see something on this. I know this isn't the actual final board. There's a lot more on the final, but I see something called the Tilted Kilt over there. Is that a new restaurant coming in? Yeah, the Tilted Kilt is a new restaurant coming in. It'll be uh, coming in at the old Max and Irma's building, and that isn't quite open yet, but it probably will be within the next month or two. Okay, and that's when people are going to start coming to the VHEC, so we can watch for this about then. So this is really cool information, so keep an eye out for these boards. If you've got questions or you want to know more, give a call over to Will, but um, otherwise grab those smartphones and start eating in town, I that's guess. That's right, that's right. Wonderful. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.